Hi, it's Dwyer. It is May 31st, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk NBA playoffs, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. <clears throat> now I'm going to correct myself yet again. <clears throat> My motto is, I'd rather make money than be right. Now, I was here online talking up the Clippers. Then I was here online saying hedge out of the Clippers after game two against the Mavericks. Well, the Clippers are back. Uh, yesterday's box score is simply phenomenal. They seem to have figured out that you can't stop Luka Doncic. So what you have to do instead is focus on stopping his teammates. Dallas's numbers have crumbled to the point where yesterday their field goal percentage was less than 35%. Their three-point percentage was under 20%, right? They only hit five of 33s, folks. That's a 16.7% three-point percentage. And, of course, Dallas has always struggled from the free-throw line. Yesterday, they hit only 63.6% .6 of their free-throws. The Clippers even dominated the boards, getting 12 more rebounds than the Dallas Mavericks. The Clippers, of course, got more blocks than the Mavericks, six blocks to one, got more steals than the Mavericks, seven to three. The Clipper defense is back. So I'm going to backtrack off my earlier statements, right? I've already hedged out of the play. I'm going to hedge back in on an NBA Futures for the Clippers to win it all because the Clippers look shaky. The first two games of that Maverick series, you're getting them at a plus 650. Now let's go further. I believe given Anthony Davis's problems, right? Hyperextended knee. Now we're hearing there's a groin problem. <clears throat> given the fact that even when he comes back, they might limit his minutes. I believe the Los Angeles Lakers, the team right now, getting the second shortest odds to win the NBA championship, should be taken off the table. I am backing away from the Los Angeles Lakers here. My operating assumption is that Phoenix is going to win that series. So, let me just point out the obvious. Phoenix is going off at 22 to 1 to win the NBA championship. I'm not here saying they're going to win the NBA championship, but what I am saying is at 22 to 1 on a team that might advance in the playoffs, that's tied right now, two games apiece with the Lakers. Since our goal here is to get leverage, I believe you want to increase your holdings on the Phoenix Suns here. There are only five other teams that I think have a chance to win the NBA title, right? They are the team getting the shortest odds, the Brooklyn Nets, plus 200, the Milwaukee Bucks, plus 500, the Utah Jazz, don't sleep on Utah's defense, the Utah Jazz, plus 500, the Clippers, who we mentioned earlier, plus 650, and the team that I think warrants your immediate attention, the Philadelphia 76ers, at plus 650. I don't believe the other teams are viable. Sorry, Memphis. Right? Well, we're just interested here in probabilities. What I want people to realize is that the Bucks and the Nets <clears throat> are going to go head-to-head, -head and it's going to be a vibrant war in the next round of the playoffs. By contrast, once Philadelphia gets by the Wizards, they're likely to face the Atlanta Hawks. I believe Philly beats them easily. Understand the secret sauce to Philly is defense. Ben Simmons is one of the best defenders in the entire league. Joel Embiid is as well. Understand, coming off the bench... Dwight Howard is still a defensive force. Let me also point out that they have experience. Danny Green is on this team. 
Danny Green and Dwight Howard just picked up an NBA championship last year with the Los Angeles Lakers, right? Doc Rivers got run from the Clippers. Daryl Morey got run from the Houston Rockets in their first year together. These guys are the one seed in the East, right? Understand, to me, the odds are misaligned. The Brooklyn Nets and Milwaukee Bucks, I don't think you can be certain who wins that series. Right? I just don't. I know the Nets have all kind of offensive firepower. Guess what, folks? The Bucks have some of the best defenders in the league. Giannis is a spectacular defensive player. So, too, is Drew Holiday. So I believe if we're looking at risk, Philadelphia has the far easier path to the conference finals than does either Milwaukee or Brooklyn. And you're getting Philly here at much better odds. Again, you're getting Philly right here at a plus 650. Right, Brooklyn's a plus 200, Milwaukee's a plus 500. To me, the clear play here is the one C making it to the conference finals. Right, so here, just in terms of readjusting after games, our positions in NBA futures to maximize the leverage we can get, as well as the likelihood of winning. I think the Phoenix Suns at a plus 2,200 and the Philadelphia 76ers at a plus 650 are the preferred plays. Let me also say, too, in the West, again, I only see three teams with a chance to win in the West. Utah, the Clippers, and Phoenix. What I want people to consider is that Utah and the Clippers are going to go head-to-head -head in the next round of the playoffs. Right? Phoenix won't have to. Right? I believe Phoenix gets by the Lakers. Then they're going to face, in my opinion, probably Denver. Now that's going to be a tough matchup. But what I want people to do as they look at the Laker box score is to look long and hard at the stats of DeAndre Ayton. Now first, let me say, Chris Paul is back. Right? Game four, he looked good. That shoulder problem seems to be subsiding. Let me say, Corey Booker can win you the game on any given night. Understand, this is a guy who once scored 70 in a game. Right? So I believe Phoenix, which would have the home court advantage over either Denver, and I'll concede, Denver's dangerous, Denver or Portland, Right? I believe Phoenix has the clearer path to the conference finals than does either the Clippers or the Utah Jazz. And of course, with Phoenix, you're getting spectacular odds of 22 to 1. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.